All right, CAD fans, in this video we're going to switch to 3D. So let's open a 3D template. And it should come out looking like that. You can see the X, Y, Z coordinates. The other thing we're going to do is switch our drawing environment from drafting to modeling so that we can do stuff like draw 3D boxes. So basically just left click somewhere and you move over a certain amount and left click again and then to do the third dimension, the Z dimension, click one more time. Note that it starts with an X, Y and ends with a Z. So that's a basic box. Notice that under the box tools get that little corner think. Uh, won't that give me some more tools? Yeah, there it is. You can do all these other basic ones too. Okay. So let's move on to another tool called Extrude. And what we're going to do in this case is draw something in 2D and then switch it to 3D. So what we can do is move by hitting this little box. I can move to the top view. Maybe I'll shut the grid off too, that's kind of distracting. And then draw something in 2D, say a polyline. See if we can find the polyline tool here. There it is. And draw something, you know, just some kind of funky shape. Doesn't really matter what it is. Close it like that. Hit enter. And then we'll move the box so you can just kind of see it in, a, in an isometric and use the extrude tool. Enter. There, I got it. And then let's go up, say, 30 units. And there I've got a funny looking 3D shape. Anything you draw in 2D, you can draw, you can extrude out to a 3D shape. Next, let's try using the sweep tool, which is in underneath here. We'll create a path for it to follow and then something that'll follow the path. So let's just move to the top again. And I'll use the middle mouse button and drag down a little bit so I can get some space. Hit the polyline tool. And then, I don't know, we'll just do something funny looking here. Here's the arc. And Finish it up with a little arc over this way. Okay. Then we'll move to this view. Notice I just moved that. Hit the little box, moved it around, and put a circle right on the end of that thing. Oh, that's not what we wanted, is it? Hit the escape key. Remember, it only draws an XY, so we're going to have to move to a different user coordinate system is somewhere oh, I see you gotta put this little button down here and then it goes down to these different UCS's user coordinate system hi Marvin and we need the view UCS so I hit left click there and I think that should have moved it and yep XY move so we're all set let's go to the circle right there and just draw something in, let's say eight And then we'll go up here to the sweep tool. Objects to sweep this circle right here. Enter. Sweep path there. And there it is. So here's a set of 3D cabinets, kitchen cabinets that is, for a project that I drew and built out in East Boat. So one of the other things you can do is use this gizmo thing. Notice how that Axis turned yellow, and then I can move up. Just say I want to move up 10 units, I can type in 10, and the whole thing will move up in that direction. Do it with any of the axes, so that's kind of handy. Sometimes these blue grips will do stuff with a box, they don't do so much. So let's try uh, this one over here, the funny shape that I drew. In that case, you can stretch and make it a totally different shape. So if we looked at it from the other view here, now I've stretched it in that direction quite a bit. You can stretch or move, you know, depending on what you want to do. 
Some of these move and some of them stretch. In any case, if you've got something more free form, you can mess with it in that orientation. Notice that we are still using the same XY plane, UCS plane. If you want to switch it back to the standard one, hit the world UCS over in the corner, and that'll put it back to where it is. Sometimes this cube thing is a little bit goofy. It'll spin things around and upside down. There's also some standard ones over here. I usually use the Southwest Heistermetric, for example. Or if you want to look at a particular side, that'll switch it around so it looks it right at it. Uh, the other thing you can do is use the wireframe display instead. Sometimes that works better for different styles of drawing where you want to see the lines a little better. And there's a bunch of other ones in here. Sketchy's kind of cool. You know, whatever works. Most of the time I run with either realistic or 2D wireframe. Keep in mind that you can set anything to be a UCS. So if I picked right now the view one, now I'm in an XY orientation here. If I drew a box and then put some depth on it. Let's see how that comes out. Because I'm going to need to move it onto one of the corners. There you can see the one I just drew in that angled UCS plane. So that makes it a little more complicated. If you get your UCS kind of twisted around, you will get confused. So just go back to world and then move it again. Uh, we got some other tools here where you can put things together, like union and subtract and intersect, which we use quite a bit. So if you wanted to put a couple objects together, say that one. Actually, I better move it over first. Let's use the Move tool. And I can just, just like the regular old Move tool, and we'll put it over right in there someplace. So now it's part, you know, it's, it's overlapping in that one, in the other box. And then if I want to put that all together as one, I can select those two objects by left clicking, hit Enter. And now this all behaves as one really weird looking objects. I have no idea what it's going to do with that, but it allows me to move it around. I can switch my UCS back to world so that it's more normally oriented. And there it is.